Solutions Consultant with Beyond 20. Today I want to show you something that will aid you when you're first starting out with ShareWell and later on uh, when you have more than one system. So for example you've got a dev or test and your prod system and you're the ShareWell administrator. Um, one of the things you have to be cautious about is publishing blueprints in the right order and if you accidentally get on your production system while you've been working in dev and you publish a blueprint that's maybe 8, 10, 12 blueprints into your cycle you can actually cause problems in your production environment if you published that blueprint that was like number 8 of a series you were working on in dev to prod before you had published the others. So one of the things that you want to look at doing is helping make it easier for you to identify whether you're on the dev or prod environment. Now a lot of people don't deal with this. Uh, you pay attention to which system you opened up when you're opening your client, but if you've got them both sitting there side by side or um, maybe you've got a test in dev and prod, th there are a couple things that you can do to help yourself out. Now if you notice on my screen here, I have the information along the toolbar. I've got my V920 connection against my V920 database. Well that's one way of helping me know that I'm on my V920 or version 9.2.0 system, demo system, for doing development work. The way I set this is to come into Tools, Options, and on the Display tab, we hit the Windows titles to check the display connection information and then the connection and database name. If you look above though you see that I have a application skin and this is the ShareWell light skin but maybe I want to do something like dark for my dev environment and now there's a big difference between this and the light that was there by default. And it makes it real apparent which system I'm in. And what I would recommend doing is setting your skin for your dev environment or test environment to be one that you don't really like. That way it's very apparent when you come into the system that you are in your dev environment because you are probably going to be in your prod environment doing your other work so you don't want it to be painful or distracting or annoying so again I'm going to change this to dark and then I'm going to open up my admin client because all of this was done in the rich client but now as you can see my admin client it's also showing the V920 V920 and it's dark so I can tell that I am in my dev environment. Uh, if I wanted to have a test and dev and prod, then one of the things that I could do is make dev the very dark one and make uh, prod light and then maybe test be blue. And so it would look like this. So you got a couple of options there. Um, there's no perfect solution, of course. Uh, but that's one way that you can very easily visually tell which database you're connecting to uh, using both the connector information on the window title and the uh, skin for the application. Anyhow, I hope this information is useful. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do produce videos every week. If you have a question or need to know how to do something, feel free to post in the channel. Uh, you can tweet at us or email us and someone will respond and or we will produce a video with an answer to your question.